recess, sir. Hey? You're supposed to be on recess. Uh, yes, well, it's an exciting... Well, it's absurd. He's just uh, given in to the fanatic element of his followers. He's decided to go hell for leather, but it's... Uh, uh, I share all the outrage which everybody's competing to express. I hope it'll bring together uh, the sensible majority of Parliament who will find some alternative to this, not only debating it properly, uh, but actually uh, saving us from just crashing out with the no-deal Brexit. He's only pursuing because he's sold out to the people he's surrounded himself with who appear to want it. There are many alternatives. One of them would be a caretaker government led by either Jeremy Corbyn, and your name has been mentioned, sir. Would you serve in a caretaker government led by Jeremy Corbyn? The, the, all this stuff about who would lead what, that's all our footnotes. I mean, the media are entertaining people with all the outrage and their personalities. Uh, the key thing is to decide, are, are we leaving in a sensible way that doesn't do damage to our economy and keeps all our uh, ties with Europe, all our business ties and all our trade flowing freely? Uh, or are we going to actually have a referendum and decide whether to leave at all? You can combine the two. I think Boris's absolutely outrageous sort of petty dictator stuff uh, will bring together the rather slightly divided majority in the House of Commons and they'll decide which of those two they're going to go for or what the combination between the two should be. And so brief, was that a no, sir? You wouldn't work in a Jeremy Corbyn caretaker government? I would do anything necessary to stop this country creating the childishly disastrous mistake of crashing out with no deal. Thanks again.